Hello everyone, I'm Nadia Holz from sportsbookreview.com and you can join in our conversation on Twitter using hashtag SBRNatia. Yes, there are still some pretty good running backs in the NFL, even though that position has been hugely minimized due to the past happy league that we're in right now. Bet Online is offering running back matchups on combined rushing and receiving touchdowns. Joining us today is professional handicapper Matt Jordan. Matt, how are you doing today? Are you excited for, night, for tonight's game? I am. I am Excellent. very. <laughs> Excellent. So let's jump right into it. Adrian Peterson, minus two and a half combined touchdowns versus Alfred Morris. Morris, the minus one in tw uh, 125 favorite on NFL odds with Peterson at minus 105. What do you think about this matchup? Yeah, again, it's, it's the key word is combined. Some people might jump on this and think, oh, just rushing touchdowns or something. And that's 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 important. Um, you know, Peterson's going to clearly rush for more touchdowns. Uh, Morris had a really huge rookie year and then kind of slid back last year. The whole Redskins offense slid back last year. It's hard to know. Um, they're changing their uh, run block scheme this year under Jay Gruden. So I don't know if Morris will get as many carries. It's, it's really hard to say. Um, you know, Peterson's going to you know, get his 300 carries as long as he stays healthy. Um, you know, they are playing outside this year. There are eight games that changes some things a bit, but he is their offense. Minnesota doesn't have anything else, while the Redskins have plenty of other guys that can score. Robert Griffin might vulture a couple of touchdowns, rushing touchdowns off Morris himself. So I would give the two and a half uh, touchdowns and take Peterson. Okay, Matt, don't you think Doug Martin has slightly the edge now that he has Logan Mankins in his team, which will allow him to run the ball a lot easier and get into the end zone? Uh, that definitely was a smart trade for the Bucks. They gave up a pretty good tight end prospect and a fourth-round draft pick. But Mankins is also 32, and you know there's a reason the Patriots gave him up, even though he's a multi-time All-Pro. And I don't think one guard will, um, you know, make the Bucks pretty pretty below average line that much better. Um, my worry with Martin is he had one really big year, and you know last year he wasn't that effective, and then he got hurt. Plus, the Bucks have a good backup in Bobby Rainey, who's going to steal some uh, carries and such. Uh, Matt Forte is not ever going to come off the field. Uh, he's going to catch. He might lead the NFL running back some receptions. He'll get his, you know, 250 carries. So I think he's great value at uh, minus one touchdown. Okay, and moving on with LaShawn McCoy at minus and a half. Combined touchdown versus Jamal Charles. As you said, this is a tough one. What factored in your Charles decision? Yeah, I think these are the best two backs right now in the, in the NFL. Um, I, I picked Charles because, like Forte, but even to a higher degree he is the Chiefs offense the Bears at least has some other good receivers and but the, the Chiefs literally have nothing um, in fact I would argue they have worse skill position players than you know the Raiders in some regards um, so Charles Charles actually led the team in receptions receiving yards and touchdowns last year while of course leading in you know all the rushing stuff I just he's a small guy where he, he's gonna break down but he may lead the NFL in total touches so anytime they're at the goal line he's gonna get the ball he has been a little injury prone. That's the one worry. Mm -hmm. um, and McCoy's, you know, McCoy's going to lose some receptions because the Eagles have Darren Sproles. They want to like make sure McCoy doesn't run down. So I would take Charles. Okay. And last but not least, we have Marshawn Lynch at minus one combined touchdowns uh, versus Eddie Lacy. Lacy is the minus 140 favorite and Lynch at plus 110. Are you expecting Skittles productivity to drop? And is that why you chose <laughs> Lacy over him? Skittles. I love it. Um, that one surprised me. Okay. Um, well, those, those two are, of course, going against each other tonight in the game. Um, yeah, I think uh, Lynch is getting a little up there in age. I mean, I think he'll still have his, you know, his plenty of touchdowns, but he doesn't really catch the ball. And um, so I think while the two could be almost even in rushing touchdowns, you know, Lacey's going to catch more balls than Lynch will. And just the Packers are simply going to score more than Seattle will. You know, not necessarily tonight, but mm -hmm. on the season. So I think Lacey's good value there. Excellent. Okay, so there we have Matt's picks. I'll let you go so you're not late for the kickoff party. Matt, <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good one.